Terry and I were, were learning to speak English. <laughs> so my wife's DL650 being too tall for her, she's 5'7". We've done some things to lower it, uh, starting with the Kubelinks. Taking it down three quarters of an inch, very easy to put in. Just had to put a little jack with a little rubber thing on there. Take a little pressure off of that. It just amazingly easy, like 10 minutes. Torqued and uh, Loctited. And they're a very nice finish on those Kuba links. That brought it down three quarters on the back. We got the seat shaved from the place where we bought the bike. They have a fella that on the sides shaved the seats and uh, it was 80 bucks. But he did it twice. First time wasn't what you wanted, so he dropped it down again and took them off the sides. Really nice now. That's uh, almost an inch and a half, plus a little sh shifting on the sides. She can't even tell the difference other than the fact that her feet are much more on the ground. Now, for the front here, I bought this two-inch extended front brake line, which came with a banjo, and that set me back about 150. Talking Canadian here. And that had to be supposedly put on because of these Genmars, one inch up, and one and three eights I believe back, one up, one and three eights back, and uh, the nice finish to them, not kind of kind of chunky looking things, oops, kind of chunky looking things really, but um, you know, nice finish to them. They were, they did have to be adjusted right in here. I had to actually file a little bit here and here to get the handlebar to sit down in there. It wouldn't settle in, it wasn't a real perfect fit, fit but that was easy enough fixed and uh, they bolted up really nice and they do come back and up, she really likes that. And we did take the forks up five eighths of an inch to match the three quarters on the back. I guess I could have went three quarters there, but when I was finished, it was five eighths, and I was happy with that. Hey, hey, I'm trying to do a video here, eh? Keep the truck noise down. God dang, neighbors. They're nice guys. Noisy though. Now, I put this on, this heli, because I ordered two. Because I thought, I did my V-Strom Gen Mars at the same time, the 1000. I thought I might need an extension for that. Because I've read that with the two-inch rocks risers on the V-Strom 1000, you need a front brake cable line. Every other cable on this bike was fine. Uh, of course, that was the standard clutch cable, and all the lines were just not a problem. But the front brake line with the risers on was way too snug. And the issue with the heli is, well, it's a very minor issue, but it's, I had to tie it up a little bit, uh, zap it. When you turn hard left, it bumps. The rubber nipple bumps in there. Uh, not that you turn hard left too often, but I'm sure oh, a year or two that's going to wear the cap off and that'll, there'll be some... So eventually I'm going to have to put that line, there it is, there, on. Now I went to the shops and asked for shop quotes to put the line on, hour to an hour and a half, at an average of 100 to 120 an hour. Mostly because you're waiting for the air bubbles to come up and to bleed into here, into the top. Um, this house has got this lovely little bleeder on there which you can use on that one too but boy this thing took like five minutes to put on and it, it was like hardly any bubbles just topped it up a tiny bit it was like a breeze and the heli cost me it was like 85 to my door um expensive for a little line but the convenience and the simplicity was i'm very impressed with that come with the banjo washers and everything so because you know to get the two inch line on as i'm seeing and reading on Vstrom International and talking to the mechanics, uh, even our guy, my regular guy, all these plastics had to have to come off. And a little different than on the 1000, which I can almost do in my sleep, having done it so often. But this one's, uh, it'll be like the other one over there. And if, you know, you have to undo some bolts and you have to pull it a particular way and pop. If you pull the wrong way, you can break things off. So that'll be a learning process. Um, and I'm going to try and get under here to see if you can see this. There it is. Oh, let me come over here. Let me get right here. Yeah, that's where the two inch line goes up, the new two inch line extension. And that's tricky because there's a metal line back and behind there. The eight mil comes off, but it's not that simple. The rad's in the way. So I've heard that can be a bit of a headache. And then once that all that is done, you have to get the air out of the line. And that can involve some waiting. But you know, uh, why would I pay someone 120 bucks an hour to wait? I'm retired. I get paid nothing to wait. I, I can I get charged nothing. <laughs> I charge nothing to wait. That'll be no problem. So, that's what we've done. We've got the heli on. I'm going to leave it on for now. Eventually going to the 2-inch extension. See, and I have it. And, like I said, maybe I'll just have to buy a 
650 uh, next year myself. And I'll put that on mine, I, whatever. And the seat shade and the Kuba Links. Now over on the Thousand, of course, you put the, on the Thousand, I put the Genmars on also. All right. These ones are weird too, because I had to grind this bolt right here. I had to shave this bolt right here. Uh, the aluminum had to be, I used a drill and uh, just honed it a little bit and then it fit in really nice. So both of the Genmark needed a little bit of adaptation, uh, but nothing, if I can do it, anybody can do it. It was that simple. And the lines really don't need any adjusting on anything, but I did, I did, does that show up on my front brake line way down there? I did undo it and make a little bit of a strap just to keep it loose. Even though it was fairly good with, I could have left it, it was snug when you turned the one direction. So it was very easy to do. I just put a little piece of metal down there and extended it, just pulled it away from the original bracket by about an inch. So it's got, it's not even tight, but you really can put the inch up and inch and three eighths back risers on the 1000 piece drum without any issues whatsoever. But on this little girl, this little girl, you're gonna put risers on, you're gonna have to fix that front brake line. And the Halley bar, even though it's awkward looking, is a very simple fix. Yeah, just ask the shop about those ABS bleeds. Long, slow process it can be. Anyways, that's what we've done to lower this, and we've got more stuff on the way, because the budget allows crash bars are on the way. That's our update on lowering the DL650 2014. It is spring in 2015, by the way, the last year's model. Over.